All right, now we're looking at a posterior view of the, the body, and we're looking at a lateral bend or a lateral flexion. And so I just want to orient you to the muscles of the vertebral column. First of all, for these posterior spinal erector muscles, you do not need to know the attachments, but you do need to know the organization. All right, so they are deep to the trapezius, the rhomboids, and the latissimus dorsi. Their function is to extend the spinal column, lateral bend that we see here, and right and left trunk rotation. They are organized into global muscles and local muscles. Global muscles span multiple vertebra. Local muscles go from vertebra to vertebra, or maybe skip one vertebra. So these global muscles, the main one is called your erector spinae, and that is this large muscle here. And it's separated into three layers. And it's oriented to how close to the spinal column these layers are. So the layer highlighted in blue is your spinalis muscle. The next one out is your longissimus layer of the muscle. And the most lateral is your iliocostalis. They also are oriented into the three regions, the cervical region, the thoracic region, and the lumbar region. So this muscle highlighted in blue is the iliocostalis lumborum. This one is the longissimus thoracis, so for the um, thoracic region. And the one that we first highlighted was the spinalis thoracis. So think of them as the ones closest to the spinal column and going lateral, and what is in the cervical region, the thoracic region, and the lumbar region.